So very important. E, E minor, E, E minor, okay? okay? Now, if I take this finger and put it right here and play that, what chord is that? No. Wait. Here's E minor. Okay. okay. So there's E minor. There you go. Then you move it here move and put it. your one finger. One fret or two fret? One, just only one fret. Now you gotta use your pinky and your ring finger, not your oh, middle that's finger. Right. That's right. And there this go. goes mm -hmm. here. So there it is. F. Now that's an F minor because we don't have the middle finger down. Mm -hmm. See? See that looks like Okay, so look, now if we put this middle finger down, what chord is that? Wait, where'd you put it here? Right there, uh-huh. And then this oh. finger's right there. Here? Ah, uh, here? Yeah, and then you gotta bar all these. There you go. So is that F? Good. Now, if we move it up a half step, what is that? got one more in between there. You're close. You're very close. Oh, F sharp minor? F sharp. F sharp. Now if you raise up your middle finger, it's F sharp minor. Okay. Now it doesn't have to sound good. Well, it's it's going to because okay. you don't practice bar chords. Okay. Okay. Now, right here, what chord is that? That would be G. Good. And if I do like this. G minor. Good. And what is this? G sharp. Or G sharp, mm -hmm. yes. G sharp minor. And then, and then a, a, okay, an a, 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 a minor. A sharp. A sharp minor. B. B minor. B minor, sorry. And then C. There's no B sharp, so there's C. Oh, there's no B sharp. Okay. Yeah, no B sharp in music, so there's it just goes right to C. Okay. C. Okay. okay. C sharp. C sharp. C sharp minor. Okay, and then. There's D, and okay. D, that's D minor. And here's D sharp. And look at the 12th fret, what happens? Everything starts over, it's back to E. Okay, now, the reason why I show you that is because this is how you learn where these shapes are, okay? Um, uh, because what you're doing usually is going, okay, well, Matt taught me this shape, or Matt taught me this shape, but, I see like G sharp minor, I don't know how to play that, Right. okay? Well, you do, because I just showed you, okay? You just learned 24 chords in that time, okay, that I just showed you. Now, how would you play a G sharp minor? Here's the thing, G is very easy to know because you know where to play G, right. you know that. So obviously, what note is this? No, that's the E string, but e what string. note are we pressing down on? Oh, it's G. Yeah, good. Okay. So you know where G is. Wow. So you can kind of use the G note, like G sharp is going to be one up, see? Oh, so here's G in here. Uh-huh. And wherever... So you fret that. Right. And wherever your index finger is... Okay, this, these three fingers tell you whether it's major or minor. There's the major shape, there's the minor, the minor shape. shape right. Okay, this finger tells you what chord it is, where the note is. There's your root note. So it's G, so it'll be G sharp. Yeah, G sharp. Well, okay. That? So, that there you go. Okay. Now, when you're making a bar chord, you want to turn your hand a little bit that, that, so that your elbow is coming into your gut. Okay, so that like you're, opposite of yes, opposite. right, because you want the side of your finger, which is bony, to uh, like press against the, the fret. And you don't have to press that hard. A lot of people press too hard. I'm not pressing, I mean like, hard at all. Yeah, good, okay. Now, that's where you find those chords, okay? So, in this case, I'm going to show you we're going to we're going to use like this capo, okay? And yeah. 
on two because, and you're like, well, wh how do you know when to use a capo and not? Right. Well, look at this. If you look at this music, it's G sharp minor, F sharp, D sharp minor. Well, I don't want to make all those bar chords. Technically, that song would be this. F sharp, right? Because we just said that's an F sharp. G sharp, uh, no, it'd be G sharp minor first, F sharp, and then uh, D minor. I, I just know that this one is over here, or D sharp minor, excuse me. Okay, so it's a bunch of bar chords. We don't need to know that, and we don't want to do that. Well, look at this. I can use the capo to take care of one of those bar chords, okay? okay? Which is the lowest bar chord for me, okay? okay? Now that's a that takes a lot of time to really understand. When you're like trying to figure out, you're like, Matt, I could probably, with what you told me today, go home and play, count it out, G sharp minor to F sharp, and then, and then if you had to play a D sharp minor, you're like, oh crud, that's all the way up here. You know, right. uh, I could do that. I don't want to. So anyway, I want you to understand the principle of it. Okay. Do you understand the finger acts like a capo? It acts like the nut of the guitar. Okay, so if this is an E, it just makes sense that you could take that same shape and move it up here. Well. If you play that without these being capoed, you have these open strings, see? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't do that. that. That means that these notes, in relation to these notes, just got further away. Okay. You have to move the whole shape up. Does that make sense at all? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. So, it's all about spatial reference. You cannot, okay. you can't like, like, this note is an E note. This note, this open note is an E note. This right. open note is B. Remember that's a B string? Uh -huh. Okay, well look at these notes. Let's just, these, these are three specific notes. Like this is B, this is another E, and this over here is a G sharp. Well, if I take those and move them up here, all of a sudden these notes become C, F, and um, what did I say? That's G sharp, so that becomes an A. Well, you can't play those notes along with an E, a B, and an E. Those sound different. You have to bring the E, the B, and the other E up to F sharp, C, and F sharp in relation to those notes because everything has to stay in proportion to those other notes. You can't just take this shape because th this is still, these notes are changing, but these are staying the same. You can't leave these notes okay, same the thing. same. Everything, everything has to change. Has to yes. Okay. That's how you learn 24 chords, 12 majors, all the way up here, and 12 minors. How many notes are there on the guitar? How many, yeah, how many notes are on the guitar? Okay, this is the most important no. part of guitar. Like, okay. Because when you start out with guitar, what I do is I show you shapes. Yeah. And that all that is is monkey see, monkey do. That's not really like learning the guitar. That's like, okay, well, I know G, C, and D. Right. But now it's like this is where the stuff, where the rubber meets the road, I think, where like something actually is like, oh, okay, now I know how to play the guitar. This gives you the ability okay. to go, I can play these chords, okay, and I'm gonna show okay. you how you do that. Okay, okay. Tricky, okay. So uh huh. So that's F sharp. Is it F sharp major or minor? It's major. So how do you make it major? There you go. You did it. Minor is without that. Yeah. Yeah. You'll quickly know when you listen to the song if you are major or minor. But there's major. Very good. You're getting the idea. So we didn't have to use our finger for that one. Yeah, yeah, it's like, wouldn't that be nice, right? Okay, now look, I'm just gonna save you the trouble. I just okay. wanted you to get the idea. D yeah, sharp yeah. minor will be all the way up here. We're not obviously going to play it all the way up here. Okay, that you can do on the A string, but we're not, we're, we're going to do a special little chord there and I'm gonna okay. show you. Now look at this. Do you remember this shape that we've done before? 
do this. Play 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 the G sharp minor. Go up to that one that you were you were showing me just a there? moment ago. So, so you can play G sharp minor like this. That's right. You're very right. But look, there's another special way we can voice this that we've done before. It's just a special open chord. Just don't even ask me. We've done this a million times before in other songs. Just leave your fingers right there. Right here? Uh-huh. And then just take like your pointer finger. Yeah, take your pointer finger and put it right here on the third string on the second fret away from the capo. There you go. And strum down from the A string. Okay? Oh, yeah. Okay? That's another special way we can do like this, this chord, okay? Okay? So we've got... That's major. Yeah, we can cram our fingers down there. Now we're going to go up to another one. It's going to be C sharp minor seven, and it's going to be, it's actually going to be D sharp because we have the capo on now. You're going to move your pointer finger all the way up to the fourth fret of the A string away from the capo. There you go. And then these two fingers will come here. Okay. Pinky and ring. Nope. You got to skip a fret between them. Uh huh. It's the same basic idea as a bar chord that we did, but it's like that. It's open. There you go. There it is. There you go. Okay. So, 